Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See General Hospital's Kirsten Storms and Brandon Barish for the fans' new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's always a delight to see former couples putting their kids first and two stars who do it best is General Hospital's Kirsten Storms, Maxi, and Days of Our Lives Brandon Barish, Stefan, who do a great job of co-parenting their daughter Harper. The Daytimers often share pics of their happy kid, and a few recent ones left us saying, wow, and all. Storms posted a series of photos of Harper looking very impressive while rock climbing. I told Harper that she looked like a little lizard, the actress stated. Some of the walls she raced up, some of them took a bit more time to accomplish, but she refused to give up. The proud mom went on to describe how Harper's little limbs were shaking during her last climb, and how she is constantly in awe of her enthusiasm and the joy she finds in things that challenge her. Pretty sure that is a happy kid. And Barish couldn't resist sharing a pic of Harper with her new little brother, Bakken. My loves, the actor expressed. My mind cannot conceive of a more magical moment slash picture than this. No woman should be a target of abuse, don't stay silent. Barish and his wife, Isabella, welcomed their first child together back on September 15, 2023, and of the photo, his castmate Mary Beth Evans, Kayla, jumped into the comments to state, the cutest, as Christian Alfonso, ex-Hope, added, beautiful family. Being cast by General Hospital as Scotty Baldwin's surprise daughter, Karen Wexler, in 1992, was a big break for Carrie Shane. Unfortunately, it led to an altogether different kind of break. Guesting on former leading man, Morris Bernard's State of Mind vlog, the actress recalled that when the show hooked up Sonny and Karen, she wasn't sure about it. The future godfather of Port Charles had, after all, gotten the high school girl to strip at his club, and he'd gotten her hooked on pills. And did we mention that she was a teenager? Cause she was. But the way that you played him was so human, Shane told her scene partner. And it was so great that you did that because it also helped my character. I was like, people are going to think, why is she hanging out with this dude? But you could see why. You were my father figure that I didn't have. Bernard's mental health struggles at that time are well documented. But back then, Shane wasn't super aware of them. I don't think I remembered much about that time because I was also going through a breakdown. And I didn't know it, she admitted. The character had gotten to me so much. It really affected me. I was so much a method actor, too, she added. The storyline was all so heavy and dark and awful. And to get to that place, I had to live there all the time. I think that's why I left, because I couldn't live that way. It was 42. Years ago, November 16, that General Hospital threw the wedding of the millennium. But to those of us who were there, well, watching, anyway, it seems like only yesterday. While on one side of Port Charles, young divorcee Laura Baldwin was admiring her beautiful gown, on the other, her groom Luke Spencer was making an announcement to anyone within earshot. Hello, Port Charles, he hollered from his balcony. Lucas Lorenzo Spencer, king of the single life, is giving it up today. Though nothing could wipe the smile from Laura's face, she did admit to her mother, Leslie Weber, that she was troubled by Helena Cassidine's visit to Port Charles. Since her husband had died in Luke and Laura's successful attempt to keep the madman from freezing the world, she knew that Helena couldn't have flown in to offer her best wishes. How right Laura was, the Cassidine matriarch cursed the couple and would continue to haunt them for decades after. But that's another story for another day. Before the ceremony, Luke paid a visit to Ruby Spencer, the beloved aunt who'd raised him and sister Bobby, and promised that even after he had a wife, he'd always need her. Then, at last, it was go time. As Laura was escorted down the aisle by stepfather Rick Weber, Luke did his best to keep his heart in his chest. He couldn't believe that the woman of his dreams was strolling toward him to become his for all time. 
When the officiant spoke, he told Luke and Laura's friends and family what, frankly, they already knew. The two young people before us, through their love for one another, remind us of what it is that makes life precious to all of us. Love, loyalty, and courage. Together in the face of extreme danger to themselves, he continued, they overcame powerful forces that sought to destroy Port Charles and its people, even the entire world. Miraculously, no one spoke up when the officiant asked if anyone could show, just caused, to object to the marriage. After the reception, however, somebody raised a big stink. First, Luke tossed Laura's garter, which Rick caught. Then, oh boy. Then, Laura threw her bouquet. Both half-sister Amy Vining and pal Tiffany Hill were willing to tackle anybody who came between them and it. Yet it was caught by Scotty, the husband Laura had dumped in order to run off with her rapist. Needless to say, a fight ensued, after which Scotty got what he thought was the last word. He was going to contest his and Laura's divorce, thereby invalidating her marriage to Luke. The hell you are, seethed the groom. Instead of take the bait, that his nemesis was dangling, Luke reassured Laura that they were one, and they always would be. With that, they took off on a honeymoon that they hoped would never end. And we in the audience, we just sighed dreamily. Even now, all these years later, the wedding of Luke and Laura remains daytime's gold standard. Not only a beautifully produced affair full of romance and surprises, but the most watched episodes of daytime television in soap history. 30 million viewers RSVP'd yes. She's currently recognized as General Hospital's Carly Corinthos, but back in 1998, while awaiting the birth of her first child with then-husband John Wright, Laura Wright played Cassie Lane on CBS Guiding Light. With a stellar career in daytime, having appeared on five different soaps, the actress began a new journey into motherhood when Lauren was born. Although Instagram didn't roll out until years later, let's open a photo album documenting some of Wright's special times with Lauren as she set out on her own journey into adulthood. In one of the first photos of Wright as a new mom, of her firstborn, her princess Lala, she expressed, You changed my world. Fast forward a few months, and Lauren was at the halfway to a year mark, while Wright was just 29. Along with her little brother, Here's a shot of Lauren with their mom as kids during Christmas, followed by a fun sibling photo, years later, taken at a Christmas tree lot. Being the daughter of a soap actress sure does have it perks. Here's a shot of Wright with her sweet girl attending Super Soap Weekend, a yearly ABC event that ran from 1996 to 2008 at Walt Disney World. In a photo from 2010, at the Stagecoach Festival, Wright shared one of her favorite photos, though she admitted, not sure why, with her girl wearing strickless dresses. And if there's any indication from the hashtags, she realized that in the blink of an eye her little girl was growing up. Another of her personal favorites, or should we say perfect moments, the actress snuggled up to her daughter with a smile. This moment with my girl was just perfect. Yes, Every parent knows when their kids grow up the one-on-one -on -one time with our once babies doesn't happen as often as we'd like. To commemorate a woman crush Wednesday last year, Wright Flash backed with Lauren to a time when girls' trips and hugs were a part of the norm. To celebrate Lauren on National Daughters' Day, the proud mama shared various photos and simply stated, Yep, I just adore my girl. When mom is away, the two stay in touch, by FaceTiming, of course. Leaving her teenage years behind, here are a few fun photos of Lauren to welcome her into the 20s. Happy 20 baby girl, Wright shouted with love. In an over four minute video, Wright gave everyone a peek inside the last 21 years of Lauren's life to mark her big birthday milestone. The video started out with a baby crying in the background, to which she explained, oh and yes, the baby crying is weird. I couldn't edit it out. While Lauren already has a brother and 20-year-old John, in 2020, the family welcomed a new member, her first sister, mini golden doodle, Kimba. Wright captioned the photo perfectly, just us girls. 
What better way to celebrate mom than with an all-out workout? Wait, isn't Mother's Day for pampering your mama? It sure is, but the soap star and her daughter decided to keep the day going with a mother-slash-daughter workout, to which Wright gave a big, hell yeah. In May, Wright announced that Lauren had graduated from California Polytechnic State University and expressed, I'm so, so proud of you. The family, including her father, as well as Wright's boyfriend and castmate was Ramsey, Peter, celebrated Lauren's amazing millstone throughout the weekend. And back in August, it was revealed that Lauren's journey after college has taken her to Prague, where her mom plans to visit for Christmas. In fact, Wright's co-star Finola Hughes, Anna, commented, Wow, taking on the world. Wright gave a shout-out to her favorite daughter and recalled, 23 years ago, you changed everything. Oh, I just love being your mama. I miss you like crazy, and I can't wait to come celebrate you. And for Lauren's 24th, her proud mama shared a slew of photos ranging from newborn to adulthood and expressed, Happy 24th, Lauren, your adventurous spirit, love for animals, and search for the perfect cup of coffee is infectious. I love being your mom. In 2022, Lauren celebrated the holidays with her mom, dad, brother, and others, including Wright's longtime boyfriend, Wes Ramsey, ex-Peter. We wish Lauren all the best in her future endeavors. If you enjoyed seeing this daytime star's daughter grow up, have a look through our gallery below filled with photos of other soap stars' real-life kids. You're fired. Nobody wants to hear those dreaded words, especially in daytime TV. But Robert Palmer Watkins is revisiting that less-than-fun moment of what it was like to find out he'd have been let go from his contract as Dylan Quartermain on General Hospital in 2017, telling Soaps.com that he was totally shocked because he had no idea it was coming. The way it all went down was very dramatic, and there's still one Scooby mystery surrounding the news. I was shooting a movie so I was taking a couple week break from General Hospital to shoot the last three days, and I actually found out that they were releasing me from contract while I was on my lunch break, he explains. So that was pretty brutal, and I was trying to hold it together. It was already a bad day, but it was about to get worse. The news somehow made its way to the press. Watkins promises that he had nothing to do with it. Remember, he was working on set, far away from the shenanigans in Port Charles. I don't know how, but it leaked out literally the day I found out, Watkins shares. It was all over the internet. So, I don't know how that happened. And I even got a call from General Hospital. They were not happy that it was leaked out, and I was like, I didn't leak it. While well, you might think Watkins would be bitter about the experience. Nah, he calls his time on General Hospital amazing. He's grateful for the doors it opened for him, but he wanted to make an exit from the soap on his own terms, and we don't blame him one bit. In her going on 50 years as Laura on General Hospital, Jeannie Francis has played countless unforgettable storylines. But not all twists are created equal, so the Emmy winner is able to play favorites with the arcs that have come her way, and even the moments. The high point for me was Scott and Laura, putting the star on top of the Christmas tree, the actress tells Soaps in death. People still occasionally mention that to me from a bazillion years ago. Needless to say, that wasn't the only couple of which Francis was a part that qualified as super. Gosh, there were so many things with Tony Deary, ex-Luke, that were amazing, she said. But in the hospital room with him after the rape was a real high point. Of course, the soap hopper, who also appeared on All My Children and Days of Our Lives and Primetime's Bare Essence, felt truly lucky when her son was cast. I had so many happy times during my 30s when I was at General Hospital. I loved working with Jonathan Jackson, ex-Lucky, she says. When it was just the three of us, that was so fun, because it wasn't just Luke and Laura. It was Luke, Laura, and Lucky, and he was every bit as strong as we were.